just some thoughts about um, preaching. Having reached the venerable old age of almost 73, less than a month away from the uh, vintage age of 73, and having been a, uh, a, a pastor, preacher, public speaker, having spoken in universities, high schools, churches of several thousand to just a handful, and having been a pastor of a church for many years, I think I can bring a little perspective about preaching. Preaching. Preaching is uh, a skill, an art, a gift. But there are certain things that can be learned that can make wherever you are a better speaker, preacher. And uh, in uh, schools, they call it homiletics. But what is homiletics? Well, to a large extent, it's common sense. And so I just have a few short tips. I'm not going to do a homiletics lesson, but a few short tips. When you ask people to come and listen to you, or you have the privilege of speaking to a group of people, you owe them a few things. First one is number one, be prepared. If you're not prepared, you have nothing to say. You don't just want to ramble with a lot of verbiage. You want to make it pe people's, uh, worth people's time to come and listen to what you have to say, understanding that you have something to say. Number two is say it in an interesting way. Number one, if you have nothing to say, why should people come and listen to you? And if you're not interesting, the probability is that they won't listen to you. And so, two things. Number one, be prepared. And number two, to be interesting. To be prepared generally means have a subject matter, have an introduction, the body of the subject matter, and then a conclusion. In order to be interesting, you can use stories, illustrations, uh, or other home personal life stories that will help people to get the point. When you're finished with being prepared and being interesting, then you hopefully have given them a take-home message of what you wanted to say. Nobody can speak about everything in one uh, speech or sermon. So you need to be selective, make the point, and then drive it home, and then remind people of the point. That's number one. Are you ready for number two? Okay, I knew you would be, and here's number two. Stop speaking while people wish you would continue, then to continue speaking until people wish you would stop. Don't do that. Now, you need to build up a little of sensitivity about uh, when to stop. You don't want to stop without having made your point. But on the other hand, stop when you have communicated the essence of your message. Some preachers sometimes keep talking until they hope what they call an anointing shall hit them. Well, somebody said it like this way, pray as though it depended all on God. Prepare as though it depended all on you. And speak, minister, as though it depended all on the Holy Spirit. But when it's 
you finish, say amen and sit down. If you continue going, sometimes you lose the effectiveness of the message that you want to communicate. Don't do that to people. If you see, look, if you see people looking at their watches or the clock or reading uh, some other literature or looking around or not focusing on you, the speaker, that's generally a sign. Now here in Romania, I uh, asked a pastor of a church where I was a guest speaker, I said, uh, how long uh, do you recommend I speak? What time do you terminate this uh, service? And he said, well, you can speak as long as you want. There's no time limit. But everybody will leave at 12 o'clock. I ended well before 12 o'clock. Those are two things. The third one with which I'll conclude is don't talk longer than the seat of the pants can stand. Now generally for an adult the average uh, attention span is 20 minutes. Think in terms of 20 minutes. Well what happens if I'm greatly inspired? Well great inspiration or an enablement of the Holy Spirit to go beyond that uh, erases the time limit in terms of people's ability to uh, receive, listen, their attention span. Why? Because at some point when you are under such inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the, you are no longer talking to people's understanding or their brain. You have gone beyond that and you are speaking to their very spirit and, uh, and they are therefore able to receive much more. So I have more to say but that's all for this time because I want to respect your time and I want to Stop while you wish, I hope, I would continue. My name is Roy. Thanks for listening. God bless you. Till next time. Goodbye.